Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to load up a canoe by yourself. Um, this one here is about a 15 or 15 and a half foot canoe. And it's easily done by yourself. So here's a technique um, that I'm going to show you how to load it by yourself. First you're going to get it on the ground. You're going to balance the one end of the canoe on the ground. Pick up the other end keep it balanced you're just gonna grab both sides of it and walk it right up till you get to the middle and there's a crossbar in the middle of most canoes you get your head underneath and on the other side of it and you're just gonna balance that crossbar right on your back and you pick up the front ends and just balance it right on your back and you can walk it straight out and I'm just gonna walk it right to my car um, I basically balance the front end of it on the roof rack. The other end will be stable enough to set on the ground because the top, top end is balanced on the roof rack. And I just kind of squat down here. I just walk myself out, go to the other end, pick it up, and it's a real simple pick up and slide right onto the roof of the vehicle. I slide it right on there, get it balanced. I use two straps in the back and one in the front. I also, on the uh, front cross member of the roof rack, I actually use uh, bungee cords, as you see me putting in here. I put those on each side from the cross member of the canoe and the cross member of the roof rack. I just wrap it around a bunch of times so it's secure. It's just an extra anchor point make sure the canoe's not going to go anywhere and it also helps it from sliding forward or back. Put on my strap in the front, um, each end to the front of the bumper. Once you get your third strap down in the back, make sure those are all ready to be secured down. Um, I double check the bungee cords and then I start tightening down each strap one by one. Make sure it's tight, but not too tight. You don't want to do any damage to the vehicle or the canoe, but get it all strapped down, and I just check each strap, kind of wiggle it around, make sure it's not going to move or slide around on me when I start driving. There you have it. Simple enough. One person loading a canoe, nice and easy. 